day two at the Seaco event at Stratford, the very first open house for Grob. Now, Dave, thanks for joining me. I listened to your speech on day one and it really fascinated me in regards to how in depth you, are, you guys are about the complete solution and how important this is to you. Can you kind of, kind of give us a brief overview of, of, of what, we, what your speech was about? Yeah, absolutely. Morning, Gio, by the way. Um, yeah, so we saw a bit of a change, probably just before the pandemic, in the way customers were approaching us. You know, people weren't coming to us asking about a 10 mil M mil or a new 50 mil face mil. What they really want to start looking at is what's keeping them awake at night, you know, with those pain points in their manufacturing process. So it started us thinking about how do we actually start to work differently with customers? How do we respond to, to their needs and what they want? And like I say, it wasn't just about a cutting tool. We'd gone through a bit of a transition in, in Seco in the UK. We'd moved from a production facility. All of a sudden, we had a load of spare resource, spare knowledge, spare talent and capacity. And thought, how do we actually point these towards our customers? Now, we're experts in cutting tools. So, yeah, we can address that cutting tool issue, but we're not experts in work holding. We're not experts of metrology or CAD CAM or machine tool. And I think back to my time as a production engineer, when I wanted to make those improvements or optimize my process, what I used to have to do was a lot of individual transactions. So I'd have to go out to the CAD CAM guys, I'd go out to the MTV, out to the Coolum people. You spend a lot of time, you have five different meetings with five different suppliers. And sort of brought this mentality into Seco where we thought, what if we could provide a, a more of a one-stop shop, you know, a, a holistic solution that saves all these individual transactions. If you think about it, if you want to make something for a meal, you go to the supermarket, you wander up and down the aisles, you pick lots of things off the shelves, you then have to get home and you have to put it all together yourself. If you go to a restaurant, it's served to you on a plate. We're a restaurant and all our partners are all parts of that meal. If you know, looking for an analogy and how we bring that together. I mean, how important is that complete solution in this day and age um, to be competitive, not just amongst ourselves in the UK, but globally? And I mean, I'd, I'd bring automation into that yeah. mix too. I think massively. Uh, you know, I, we do a lot of great things in the UK, but we could do things a lot better. I think if you want to make something really complex and you want to make a one-off, we're amazing at it. If you want to make that productive, efficient, you know, you want to make these in volume, I think that's where we tend to fall behind the rest of Europe a little bit. You know, you look at the likes of Germany, look at the likes of the US, I think we're, we're behind. And I think when you talk about automation, it's not just that physical pick and place either. We talk about automation of the digital aspects of the process as well, you know, linking all these technologies. And this is why it's important to work with all these key partners. Um, when you look, when, when you're sat in your environment in your own uh, manufacturing facility, you kind of know what you know, you know what's around you. You have your machine tool, do you really know the full capabilities of that machine tool? Do you know how that machine tool can interact with your CAM system? Do you know your CAM system can interact with your presetting system? A lot of people only scratch the surface of what the capabilities of the technology they have on their sites. And again, what we're trying to do, working with our partners, is pull all that together present back to these people because we're all busy you know they're busy in their manufacturing facilities and they don't often get that opportunity to go and actually see what everything can do so we want to take that to them I, I, I often look at the machine tool as a blank canvas yes um, and then everything that goes into the process is is the art in in a yeah. way to make it sing and dance and and to be able to use that machine tool to its full yeah. capabilities in essence, this is what you were doing yes. at Seco. And I think that what you mentioned about the, the complete process that includes metrology and tool presetting. In the past, I believe that some of this or, or most of this and work holding has been overlooked. Would you, would you agree? I absolutely agree, yeah. You know, the machine tool is usually the focal point and yeah. people forget about everything that sort of contributes to that. And you probably find there's lots of other parts of that manufacturing chain that are maybe causing you more pain than you realize and they can be made a lot more efficient a lot more optimized people don't necessarily appreciate the impact that work holding has on the efficiency and ability to machine a high quality component it, it's there's so many different aspects that i feel that are overlooked and we try and take that more holistic view now i think it's very important and and, and focusing on grob now can you give me some kind of examples of your your strategic partnership 
which has collectively helped solve a solution for yeah. the end user. I think just to take a little bit of a step back, so when we moved into this new innovation hub, sort of collaborative way of working, having the right partners is absolutely critical. Collaboration is an often overused word, and people use it generally with a bit of a supplier purchaser relationship. With Grob, they absolutely got what we were trying to achieve this holistic view of the process. You know, they bought into it early on, and so we've worked hand in hand with Grob now for close to 10 years. Um, it's a fantastic symbiotic relationship. We have their technology on site, but we also have a, you know, we also have access to Grob technology around the world. They have access to our sort of technology, our knowledge and expertise. And I think when you combine that, that's when you really start to deliver great things for the customer. Dave, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been fascinating. Yeah. I think we could talk about oh, this yeah, yeah, all day. Yeah. Dave, thank you for your time. So if you want yeah. some complete solutions or you want Dave and his team and Dave and his partners to look at some components for you, contact him um, to find out more. Thanks, Gio. Thank you.